Mr. Chairman, yeah. I'm requesting that you indulge me to give me a couple of minutes to speak on a couple of issues. Under and, uh, public comment. Yeah, uh, yes, and then I'll try to be quickly. Over the past couple of weeks, uh, there have been many statements made which, in my opinion, question the response time and veraci veracity of answers from the town manager and the finance director. I would like to take a few minutes to clear up any confusion and would like to do so at the beginning of the meeting when we have the largest Channel 22 viewers audience. Two areas that I would like to discuss are, one, the unassigned or undesignated fund. The chair of the budget committee and individual members Jones, Anoy, and Pierce keep asking for the balance. The finance director gave the chair the balance in writing over a month ago. And both the finance director and town manager have, on a number of occasions, verbally given the balance to both the selectmen and the budget committee. Yet comments, unsubstantiated comments, have continued to be made that the committee has not been provided with the information. I encourage voters to go back and to watch the meetings, especially the beginning and end of the meetings, to see the comments and the criticism and the unsubstantiated things. At the December 1 meeting, it was asked what the cash balance of the undesignated fund was. The town manager tried to explain that the fund is not a cash fund. I would assume that the chair, who constantly reminds the public that she has been a committee member for a long time, and that the Zanon, Mr. Zanoy and Pierce, former selectmen, would know the definition of the fund. The finance director can explain it better than I, but it is an accounting construct. It is not a savings account. I did some research on this, and I came up with this uh, definition. The very term fund balance, however, is often misunderstood. Some misconceptions are that the fund is a savings account an amount of surplus cash, or in less count term, kind terms, a slush fund. In fact, fund balance is nothing more than an accounting construct. It is a difference between the government's funds, current assets, cash, short-term investments, inventories, receivables, and other restricted assets expected to be available to finance in the immediate future and its current liabilities. That's the definition of a fund. On one meeting, Mr. Jones said, that a fund, that, he need, that we weren't getting the balance of the fund, and that a fund is, by all terms, a surplus. Obviously, Mr. Jones does not know the definition of what a fund is. At that same meeting, Mr. Pierce said to Mr. Jones, it's a deliberative diversion, that the town manager and the finance director were making a deliberative diversion. Deliberate. Re deliberative. 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 Rather than giving the proper information. Uh, I would recommend that these members do research before making what one would consider both disrespectful remarks and remarks that information was, neither being, was either being withheld or full disclosure was not taking place. Mr. Pierce, according to his calculations, said that currently the undesignated fund is most likely zero. Tonight, I believe that we may be getting some information and we will find out whether Mr. Pierce is correct or the finance director is correct on what the fund is. Again, I suggest that if people are going to make comments directed at town employees that they know what they're talking about and they know what it means. At the uh, December 3rd meeting, again, the balance of the undesignated fund was brought up because they can't do the Warren articles until they know what's in the undesignated fund. And the question of why the audit is late was brought up. It has been explained why the audit is late. Up until last year when Mr. Selectman Bean, after reviewing the audit, said that Gatsby, G-A-S-B, 34, was not being adhered to and that we should do it, that the finance director in her first year on the job took on the task, went out, got the information, verified the information, compiled the information, entered the data. Not a simple task, a huge task, a huge undertaking. This should have been done by prior boards. Prior boards brought it up, Ten years but ago. they let it fall through. They didn't follow through. Last year it was followed through on. The finance director did it. That is one of the main reasons that the, that the uh, fund, that the audit is late. Not that anybody is causing any diversions that anybody is trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. At the end of the meeting on the 3rd, Mr. Pierce 
made a statement, I'm waiting until they are out of earshot. They being the town manager and the finance director. He was waiting until they had left the room before speaking. I was always told that if you get to something to say to somebody, you say it to their face. He then said that he is sick of the bullet BC, BS, I am paraphrasing exactly, that we're not being told everything, that it's not being transparent. I am making a motion that the Board of Selectmen take a vote of confidence in the town manager, the finance director, and the staff that they have, and I stress have, <coughs> and will continue to provide inf appropriate information under appropriate circumstances in a timely fashion, honest, and with full transparency. And I welcome a second. I'll second that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is there any comment? I would just like to say that <clears throat> I hope that we're up, 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 approaching a time when uh, where people are going to be able to put their name up to be on the budget committee or any other elected board, the planning board, the um, ZBA, the board of selectmen. And part of the problem there is people get elected that no one else runs against them because not enough people have shown the interest. At least these people have shown the interest, but one didn't have anyone running against them, and the other one won because of a write-in. So <coughs> there needs to be more people that are willing to put their name up and do something as far as being a candidate and being a person that wants to devote the time to Hampton. Actually, I do have a quick comment. <coughs> I remember, uh, as I served on the Budget Committee 10 years ago, that we were reading the auditor's reports and begging to have GASB 34 implemented. And I talked to um, Mr. Egan at the uh, Plaza and Sanderson last week, and he said that it would have been much easier mm -hmm. if we had started that in 10 years ago. He said it really should have been done 10 years ago. And he said they had a, a, a real challenge um, getting the information together. And I said, is there something wrong with the computer? I didn't know if it was a computer. And he said, no, it was just ferreting out whatever the information was, and he complimented uh, Christy, saying she had done a, a wonderful job uh, working with uh, the audit staff to try to get it together. But I hope after this that when the auditors whom we are paying to do the work, they're pay we're paying them to produce this audit and this information for us, I hope we take their recommendations. I know people will say, oh, you don't need to do that or that's irrelevant or whatever. If I'm paying those auditors and they say to me, you need to implement general accounting standards such and such, we ought to do it instead of sitting here for 10 years, not us, but instead of sitting here for 10 years. And uh, I understand, I think uh, Scott told me GASB 78, the retirement uh, part is coming into play for 2015. And he said that'll be much easier to do. But... Uh, it is frustrating to see something have to go on for a whole year, but that really should have been done. I think when people do uh, take the time to run for public <clears throat> office, they shouldn't be uh, using it as a platform to uh, abuse the staff, and it, it just isn't right. Um, would you read your motion again, please? I make a motion that the Board of Selectmen give a vote of confidence to the town manager, the finance director, and their staff that they have, and I stress have again, and will continue to provide the appropriate information in a time, as timely fashion as possible, honest and with full transparency, and again, as they already have done. All those in favor, unanimous. Thank you Thank very you. much.